Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is Jonathan and I'm the ASUS campus shop for UC Berkeley. And today I'm going to be showing you the latest update for the ASUS ePad Transformer Update 4.0, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich. So right away from the lock screen, you're going to notice that you have two options. You can either unlock or go to the camera. Um, another thing is that now the notification bar can, it's easily accessible from the lock screen, so you don't have to unlock it to go to the notifications. Um, I'll be showing that more in depth uh, later. So let's just unlock the tablet. As soon as you unlock, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the font is different. The font feels much more crisp and cleaner. Uh, this new font is called Roboto, and it comes with 4.0. Um, another thing you're going to notice is that the Google Talk application, the icon, it's more square than rounded in comparison to before. And another little tiny thing is that up here, instead of squares, you have like little, sorry, instead of dots, you have like little squares now, which isn't much of a difference. Now, one of the most anticipated features for 4.0 and for this update is the folder system. So here you, ha here you can see I have two icons, talk and market. So what I do is hold and drag, and there I have a folder. Now let's do that again, hold and drag and there we have a folder um let's name this folder g apps enter and there's our folder and uh, blurry so there's our folder and there it is if i don't want it anymore simple just drag and drop drag and drop Okay, and another thing. So up here on the top right, we have our apps. Um, here's the list of all of our apps. Normally when you're scrolling, if you hit the end of it, there wouldn't be any more. Like you can't scroll anymore. But now if you scroll, you end up in widgets. So the widgets are now part of the app tray. Here we have apps. Here we have widgets. So let's get a widget. Uh, let's get bookmarks. You hold it. Let's pick a screen, empty screen, here we go. And you drop it. And there we go, widgets. Um, I can make this bookmark widget longer, shorter. Same thing as 3.0. Drag and remove. What else do we have? Uh, let's check out the camera app. So the camera app, I can easily open from right here. I'll show you how it is from the lock screen. So we lock and we unlock. And where's our, here we go. Let's go to camera. The camera app looks pretty similar with a few differences and expect a few different stuff. I mean, we have white balance, we have exposure, and we have more settings. What's cool is that they give you the option to turn off the shutter sound, which can come in folk, uh, can come in handy from time to time. Um, so you have the back cam, and then you have sorry, you have the front cam, and you also have the back cam. Hello. Um, let's check out. So we could go to video. Um, with video, you have time. Uh, so let's see. We have white balance. We have effects, which I'll show in a second. We have time lapse, which is very, very, very cool. And we have video quality. Uh, let's check out effects. Um, let's get squeeze. And you know what? Let's just switch to the other cam. Um, hello, there I am. And uh, yeah, there I am. Uh, this is the squeeze effect. Oh, okay. Um, there you have big eyes. Creepy. You have big mouth. Hello. And with these effect, uh, small mouth. And with these effects, you can use them in Google Talk video chatting. They're pretty funny from time to time. Big nose. And the last one, which I find to be the creepiest, is small eyes. Um, yeah. Um, another feature in our camera app is the panorama shot, which is pretty cool. Let's try it. Um, let's, it's recording. You could either go left or right. We're going to go right. I'm going to try to make it not too slow and not too fast. And stop. And then it saves it. 
It's pretty fast, in my opinion. And it's saved. So let's go in the top right. We'll click on it. And there we go. And oh, if you noticed, you have all these share options over here. Pretty nice and convenient. And let's see. Oh, another cool thing is when you go to the camera, when you take a shot, uh, let's switch. So when you take a shot, it does some pretty nice and cool effect. Check it out. So take. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And yeah, um, let's check out Gmail. Gmail is more or less the same. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hide it for a sec. Uh, I just wanted to show you a quick little setting. So we have experiments over here. And we have this feature called Enable Drag and Drop. I'll show you how that works. So let me just create a new email. Uh, type in Jonathan, that's me. So here I am. What's cool is that now you can drag and drop. Let's just say, here, let's go over here. Let's uh, turn on, okay, so we can drag. Um, oh, whoops, darn it. So you drag by the, and drop, there we go. It's really convenient, I have yet to use it though, but it will come in handy soon enough. Um, what else? And we have a new ASUS application, a very, very handy one. So before, we had App Backup, and ASUS was kind enough to also provide App Lock. So let's go there, um, let me just input my password. Okay, uh, yeah, let's activate it. So it lets you lock applications with a password. Let me just pick Google Body and Google Books. And they're locked now. Um, as you can see here, Body has a little lock icon and Books also has a little lock icon. If I try clicking on it, it asks for a password. Let's put in our password. There we go. And here's our application. It's pretty convenient if you're ever trying to hide any apps or anything, or trying to put a password on them. Um, we also have a, the notification bar. The notification bar, as you noticed, is a bit different. It has all these toggle options. And these aren't stock ice cream sandwich. Now, don't fret, don't complain. If you're a stock person, if you like stock Android, and you don't like these um, toggle notifications, and you don't like the look, you can go to settings, and ASUS was kind enough to provide you with the option. So here we have ASUS customized, customized settings. And here we can turn it off. And now when you go down here and click, there we go, stock Android notification uh, bar. Just press on it, and there we go, not a problem. I personally prefer the quick toggle settings. And also if you notice, we also have the option this is not new. You can either do mouse cruiser, pointer, or gesture mode, which provides multi-touch. And we also have, it gives you the, it's just provided the option, this is new, the right button behavior. So when you right click, it gives you an option. I personally like the right click button to act as a back key, so that's very, very convenient. Thank you, Asus. And since we're in the settings, let's check out settings in general. Uh, the settings menu seems much more cleaner and organized. As you can see here, we have, let's let it focus. Hmm. So we have wireless and networking. Darn it, focus camera. Wireless and networking, we have device, we have personal, and we have system. Speaking of system, if you go here, you notice developer options. It just provides you a quick warning saying that some of these options may slow down your device. And you know, that's nice of them. Um, yeah. So here's all these developer options. And another part of the settings feature is the data usage. Uh, let's go up here, data usage. Um, as transformer users, most of us, I'm pretty sure all of us, are using Wi-Fi. So it shouldn't matter too much to us since we don't have any data or any data limit. But it's still pretty handy when trying to figure out what apps are using the most data. For example, let's say we go to gallery. It gives you a breakdown. It tells you, oh, background. this is how much background data is used and, used, and this is how much foreground data is used. So that's pretty useful. And speaking of the gallery app, let's go there and check it out. So you go to gallery. And let's see. Let me pick a folder. 
Hmm. Um, uh, here we go. Actually, yeah. Uh, here's an album. This is called G74S. These are pictures that I took while I was reviewing the G74S, which is an Asus 3D gaming laptop. But here's our, here are some pictures. And by the way, these are pictures from Picasa and everything is synced. So let's go to settings. Let's edit it. And let's pick Photo Studio. Photo Studio is built in. I'm not going to go too much in depth with the options. I'll just click through them and you can check them out. You have these. And yeah, these are the options. Pretty cool. And another cool thing, pretty much as ice cream sandwich users, we now have the option to use Google Chrome beta. Um, let me just open up a tab here. Um, yeah, here we go. Let me just type in asus.com, asus.com. Let me open up another tab. So yeah, um, it's an amazing experience using Chrome on a tablet. It feels very similar to its PC counterpart. Um, there we go, we can move tabs around. We have uh, all these options. This is, and by the way, this app is downloadable from the Android market and it does not replace your stock browser, which is a totally different thing. Um, you know what, speaking of stock browser, let's check that out real quick. Um, stock browser does provide a few new features. So it looks very similar. If you go to settings, um, we have incognito tab that will spin around. We can save for online reading, then we can request desktop site. Um, yeah, and from what I can tell, I've reviewed, I've reviewed a bunch of the features on ICS, Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can let me know. Um, if there's any features that I missed, you could let me know and I'll record another video for it. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like uh, the ASUS Campus Life at UC Berkeley page. And that'll be all. See you guys.